Industrial scale wind and solar energy are inefficient, unreliable, expensive, unnecessary, and put a strain on our electrical grid. Carbon capture technology is all of those things, and it will hasten the destruction of reliable energy sources and significantly increase the cost of energy to every American consumer. In previous videos, we have explained why carbon dioxide is essential to life on this planet and how it's benefiting all of humanity. Increasing CO2 in the air has led to the greening of the planet and the production of more food. Removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, pumping it through thousands of miles of pipeline, and sending it into storage deep underground is yet an other senseless green energy initiative that's already underway. Carbon capture and storage is being promoted nationwide as an effective procedure. Carbon capture, carbon capture, enter carbon capture and storage. But it's in absolute conflict with all that we know to be true. Carbon dioxide has been removed from the atmosphere through complex natural processes for millions of years. And 99.999% of it is sequestered in the oceans, soils, rocks, and crust of the earth. Were it not for the burning of fossil fuels returning more CO2 to the atmosphere, we would be facing a catastrophic lack of carbon dioxide in the air that threatens the survival of plant life on Earth. Therefore, capturing and sequestering CO2 is not only unnecessary, it is dangerous. In April 2024, the Environmental Protection Agency disregarded proven science and passed a rule that, if allowed to stand, would force existing long-term coal power plants and new natural gas power plants to capture at least 90% of their CO2 emissions and store them underground. In the case of coal power plants, the proposed carbon dioxide capture technology would consume about 24% of the electricity generated and thus would require the construction of additional generation sources to compensate for the loss of electrical production. Complying with this EPA rule would be so expensive that nearly all of the existing coal power plants would close, and fewer new natural gas power plants would be built to avoid the enormous cost of compliance. Having fewer coal and natural gas power plants would force a heavier reliance on wind and solar generation, which are incapable of replacing the lost power. In addition, thousands of miles of new electrical transmission lines would need to be constructed. For that to happen, billions of dollars in expenditure will have to be added to the bottom line. Retrofitting the existing 114 long-term coal power plants with carbon capture technology would cost $147.5 billion alone. Operation and maintenance costs for those facilities would increase by 44% and even more in the future. In the same way, implementing carbon capture technology in natural gas power plants would also cost billions of dollars. Thousands of miles of pipelines must be constructed to transport compressed CO2 to the underground storage. That would necessitate even higher costs, all of which would be passed along to you and your family through significant increases in your electric bill. Under the EPA mandate, coal power plants must either retire by January 1, 2040 or comply with the EPA carbon rules by January 1, 2032. Over the next few years, our electric grid would face serious challenges in providing needed electricity, as these essential sources of energy would be decommissioned if the EPA's non-scientific mandates were allowed to stand. Carbon capture and storage is outrageously expensive and unnecessary. None of this would be happening in America were it not for the radical green activists embedded within the EPA. Opportunistic or misguided entrepreneurs are backing carbon capture technology because of the massive subsidies for green energy coming from the federal government. The Inflation Reduction Act alone, passed by Congress in 2022, included over $270 billion in subsidies for green energy initiatives, including carbon capture and storage. 
Carbon capture technology has nothing to do with improving Earth's climate. In reality, it is driven by money, politics, and the widespread disinformation about carbon dioxide and its effects on the Earth's climate. It's impossible to calculate the long-term damage and inflationary costs that would be inflicted by carbon capture. Carbon dioxide is not the enemy. We should not imprison a colorless, odorless, essential gas like CO2 to assuage the unfounded fears of scientifically illiterate activists. We should not consider, even for a second, capturing and storing this gas, which is essential to all life on Earth. The experts at the CO2 Coalition are your source for all the data you need to understand the true science of our Earth's climate. Go to our website now for the latest up-to-date climate data, facts, and research.